Hey, security researcher here once again. Thanks for checking out this video. Cell phone owners, pay attention. I'm making this video for you. We all have to charge our phones from time to time. And a lot of times it's in a really inopportune moment. Maybe you're at a wedding or you're traveling and you're at the airport uh, or maybe you're just at your hotel and your devices have gone dead and you're left scrambling to try and figure out what you can do about it. You've got the charging cable and you're looking for one of these jacks that you can plug into. Maybe it looks like this or this or maybe it looks like this or maybe this. The problem is, is when you plug this into one of these, you expose yourself to something called juice jacking. <laughs> yes, no, I, I, I'm aware, fanboys and fangirls, that you probably were told about this awesome new feature of your great new device. But five days after this story was released, this story was released. A few moments later. Actually, it is true and it is possible. And the reason that it is possible is because, as I've said before, when we're talking about cybersecurity, we're talking about the armor and weapons game. You paid $1,000 for this, and they told you that nothing can get through it, except they forgot to mention this guy. All right, well, let's get back on track and talk about the Juice Jack attack. Let's talk about what it is, who's at risk, and what you can do about it. So the term Juice Jacking actually finds its origins here. When these guys built one of these things, they put this on the front of it and left a bunch of these for you to plug into. And they waited to see if anybody would try to charge their phones. It's an exercise, it's a dual fold exercise because you're at this place. And for those of you that don't know what this place is, it's the largest gathering of these, no matter what hat they wear. So they set this free cell phone charging kiosk up to see if these would plug into this. And then this guy saw it. This is Brian Krebs over Krebs on Security. There's a nod, he's a great resource if you guys want to learn more. Um, go see his website. I'll put it in the link below. Uh, very, very, very smart fella. Um, so when he saw it, he coined the phrase juice jacking. Uh, that's where the term actually comes from is from this guy. So all credit due to him. However, things have really evolved since then. And now you have things like this FBI warning about this is apparently an aftermarket charger that somebody had purchased. Um, and this is specifically about a key logger, but it shows that they're shoving electronics inside things that you wouldn't expect. And then you think back to some of the news stories that we've heard about nation states shoving microchips in electronics. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm very careful about anything that I plug my phone into. So when the Juice Jack Defender showed up from Charge Defense, the very first thing that I did was rip it apart. Now that actually happened years ago because I've been using this device for a while. Um, but I bought more so I could rip them apart for this video. Um, so here's a picture of it. I'm not going to show you the actual board. It's not going to mean anything to most people anyway. But I can actually tell you that I have total confidence that this device will defend you against the Juice Jack attack. The Juice Jack Defender from a company called Charge Defense will protect your device from the Juice Jack attack. This is the product that I use. Uh, you can find it at Walmart, you can find it at Amazon, you can find it at their website, which will be in the links below. Um, but this is the product that I use. Now, I want to throw a caveat in here. I wasn't asked to make this video. I wasn't paid to make this video. I bought the materials that I had to destroy so I can ensure that I'm giving you valid information. Okay, I funded this video out of my own pocket. 
I made the video because somebody had the stones to call my videos clickbait and say that I'm not providing real solutions. Look, I get it. You don't have an IT team that you can bring to bear to protect yourself. And really what you need are brute force solutions that are simple, stupid, that you can just employ to try to protect yourself. And I'm willing to go out there and find them. What are you willing to do? If you found value in this information, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the notifier bell. Share this on social media with your friends, family, coworkers, and loved ones. I am Security Researcher, and if you just spent the last 5 minutes and 35 seconds of your life with me, I want you to know that I really appreciate it.